This is for Year 11 Methods. It comes out of Chapter 3, 3.5, Question 1 and Question 2. Okay, to explore this, I'd like to see what the degree is. There's an X there. There's an X there and an X there. X times X times X gives a degree 3. This X is positive. This X is negative. This X is positive. When those three are multiplied, it will give you a negative degree 3. So, I know that all the odd powers start here and finish here, but a negative will start in the top left and finish in the bottom right. I know there are three x-intercepts. One of them is at negative 3. This one is at 1. And this one is at negative 5. They're all to power 1, so they're going to cut through each of those. So I start up here, I cut through negative 5, I cut through negative 3, and I go through and I cut through 1. So that's what my cubic's going to look like. I've got my x-intercepts labelled at 1, negative 3, negative 5, and now I need my y-intercept. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to find out the y-intercept by making x 0. If that's 0, and that's 0, and that's 0. I've got 2 times 3 times 1 times 5. 2 3 to 6 times 5 is 30. So my y intercept is 30. In the second example, 2a y equals x squared times x plus 1. This is an x squared. This is an x. So my degree again is 3. This x squared is positive, that x is positive, so it's going to be a positive degree 3. So a degree 3 will start down here and finish up here. It has two x-intercepts. At x equals 0, because it's to the power of 2, it's going to touch. At x equals 0, we're going to touch. But at x equals negative 1, it's going to cut. At negative 1, it's going to cut. So I'm going to start here and cut through, come back touch and go back up and finish off through there. And my uh, y-intercept and x-intercept is going to be at zero.